Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through making the Classical Manchester website, but instead of using Dreamweaver, we're going to use Composer, which is a free version of Dreamweaver. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I've got on my desktop. I've got my folder, which has got all the pictures in of the Classic Manchester landmarks, so the old Wellington in there, uh, the library there. And it's also got the text file, which has got all the text that I'm going to use. That's in there. Okay, um, so I can close that down. And I've also downloaded and installed Composer. So I'm just going to double click on that so it starts up. Just give it a second. Okay, and if you've not used it before, but you've used Dreamweaver, you should recognize the screen but everything's kind of flipped from left to right. But basically you've got the main window here which, where you're going to build the website. Um, you've got all your text options up here, stuff like links and anchors up here. And what we need to do is just like in Dreamweaver, we need to define the site. So we need to tell Composer to look at that folder that I've got on my desktop. And it's actually easier to do in Composer. So all I've got to do is come up to this little symbol here which is the edit the site list which is two computers side by side and I click on that and it says okay where's your folder and I'm just going to point it to my classic Manchester website folder I click OK and a little window pops up here and this is basically doing all the same stuff that we were doing in Dreamweaver but does it in one neat little window so I can actually rename my site here so I can call it Classic Manchester Buildings, just like that there, so you can see I've changed that, so delete that name, and you can see also in this site folder, it's pointing to my folder on my, on my desktop, okay, just there and there, okay, so that's it, just click OK, and you're done, so much quicker than doing it in Dreamweaver, and if I come over here now, over here now you'll see that it's all in here and I can just click on this plus sign to open up and see all my pictures so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drag a banner one of these banners here over onto my image space so I'm just going to put it in here to put it in the document uh, yours will be full width um, I've reduced the screen resolution so you can see what I'm doing easier um, so you can see it's put the banner in there you'll probably see yours the whole banner on the screen without having to scroll sideways. What I'm also going to do now is put some text in. So I'm going to click on the Manchester text option here and just tidy that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a few of these Ashton Canal, go down to as far as Manchester Cathedral. You could do them one at a time if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do them all. So edit, copy, come into our document. If I can't see the cursor, I'll just press return and then edit and paste. And hopefully we should see all our text in there. I'm just going to tidy it up a bit. Just put space in there. So just like in a word processor, you just put the cursor in the right place, press return. Um, so then I'm just going to drag the images in that I would need. So Manchester Art Gallery. Um, whatever that is, art gallery. So pop that in there. And if the text appears like that after it, just press return to tidy it up. Uh, Barton Arcade, the same thing. So I'll just click on the Barton Arcade image and drag it in to my picture, to my text, my page. Pop that in there. And um, the Ashton Canal, so Manchester Canal. Pop that in there. And like I say, I'm just clicking immediately after it and putting a return in just so the text scrolls around it. And finally, Manchester Cathedral. So I'm going to do that. Drop that in there. And press return. Now if I want to, I can play around with um, the headings here. Uh, what I'm going to do, because it's nice and quick in Composer, is it's got this little button to make the font size larger, so you can just click on that a couple of times on each one. Or you could try applying a heading style if you wanted to. Okay, so just using, just so you can see it, just using 
that button there with the big letter A on it. Just to increase the size and finally the cathedral. Increase the size. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to need to put some invisible markers through my document so when we put buttons in they know where they're going to go to go to we need to put a destination in for our buttons to go to when they're clicked basically and it's just the same as in Dreamweaver so I'll just click before the title of each area here so I've just I'm just going to click here and put a flashing cursor in and then I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to put in an anchor so we're just going to use this symbol here to put in an anchor so just exactly the same as in Dreamweaver give it a name so I'll call it gallery okay remember don't put any spaces in it, it it won't let you but don't put any spaces or funny characters in just use simple text and it puts that little symbol in there in our document there which is for our benefit and will be invisible to anyone visiting the website so I'll do that Come to Barton Arcade, do the same, anchor, so I'll just call this Barton, click OK, scroll down to my next one, Manchester Trashton Canal, anchor, Canal, OK, and finally the Cathedral, so anchor. Cathedral. Done. So we're almost there now. So we've got our banner in, we've got our text, our pictures in, we've got our invisible markers in. All we need now is some buttons for it to work. So I'm just going to come to the top here. Okay. And if you can't if you can't see anything at the top, if you've not got a space, just go next to your graphics uh, to go after the banner and just press return. And that'll put a line in there. And then I'm just going to type in the buttons that I need. So I'm just going to put in art gallery minus sign. I've forgotten what they are, so I'll just scroll down Barton Arcade, Canal and Cathedral. So I'll just type them in Barton Arcade, um, Ashton Canal. and the cathedral. Now I'm just going to make, make these into buttons now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each of these point to one of these anchors that we've already created and named. So all I do, I like the word art gallery, the words art gallery, and I come to the top and next to where the anchor was, was the link button, which puts in a hyperlink. So I click on that. Where is it you want it to go to? Click on this little arrow at the side and you should see here the four anchors that you've already put in. So I want this to go to the art gallery. So I'll click on art gallery, click OK. And I do the same with Barton Arcade. Highlight the words Barton Arcade, go to link, drop down menu, Barton, click OK. Then I go to the Ashton Canal, highlight the words Ashton Canal. Go to link, canal, OK, and finally to the cathedral. So just highlight the words cathedral, link, point to cathedral, click OK. And you'll notice as you've done each one of them, they've all turned blue and they're all underlined. So if you're used to browsing the web, you'll suddenly recognise that and that's, you know, if you're browsing the web and you see something that's blue and underlined, you know you can click on it and it's going to take you somewhere else. And that's just what you've created there. So we've actually made the whole page now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see what it looks like. So if you're in Dreamweaver, you want to click on the little world symbol and preview and I explore. If you're in Composer, you want to come up to the browse button here. And it'll say, do you want to save changes? Just say, yes, you want to save them. Okay. Give give the page a title. Composer asks you to give it a title. So we'll just call it... We'll 
buildings. Dreamweaver wouldn't ask you to do that at that point. This is what you need to get to. It says what? It says what? So I've lost it now. Let's just do it again. File, save. It will come up and say, okay, what do you want to save it as? So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to point it to the folder that's got all the pictures in it. Okay, and because it's my home page, it has to be called index.html. Okay, so that's very important that you call it index.html. Otherwise, in a few weeks' time, if you come to upload something to the internet, it just won't work. You click on save, and you're done. So you should then be able to click on the browse button again. And it'll open it up, and you'll see that we've suddenly got the whole website, the whole web page is made, it's in there. And if I click on, say, Barton Arcade, it takes me to Barton Arcade. If I click on Ashton Canal, it takes me to Ashton Canal. Okay, so that's it, you've made a page. Um, if you want to try a few advanced things in it beyond that, um, what you could try and do, put another anchor in at the top and just call it Banner. And then perhaps put links all the way down after each one of these return to top. Okay, then put a link in to the anchor at the top. So you could try that if you liked. Um, so that's it. That's the first week. Um, that's how you do it in Composer. And hopefully a lot of that will make sense when you've done it in Dreamweaver as well. Because they are very similar programs.